What is going on everybody, my name is General Mittens and welcome to my third and final part of my Assassin's Creed Unity E3 coverage. Now in this video, I will be going over the co-op demo, I will be analysing it as best as I can. Uh, this is the shortest demo out of the two and probably the, the least informative out of all of the trailers. The reason that is is because I've already basically covered everything for, for gameplay and for the way things work in my previous video, so I won't actually... So I won't actually have much to analyse in this video other than the actual co-op gameplay itself. So as I said in the single player analysis, this footage is from the E3 press conference. I believe this is from the Xbox press conference and this is all Ubisoft's footage. So if you want to see the full trailer, a link is down below in the description so you can go check that out. Now without further ado, let's get started. Hi. I'm Leslie, a producer on Assassin's Creed Unity. The team and I are excited to present the world premiere of our new co-op gameplay. For the first time ever, you can experience the open world of Paris with up to three friends in one of the most brutal, chaotic time periods in human history, the French Revolution. Today's mission takes place at the dawn of the French Revolution, where the people of France are dying of starvation. Four assassins will be playing together to infiltrate a royal palace under siege. Your objective is to assassinate the Marquis, a corrupt noble hoarding food. So as we can see here, here is a new uh, animation that is probably just for hang. Uh, so if you're on the edge of a building and you're just sitting there, you can actually, what it looks like is you can look around and sort of your character will look around with the camera. Uh, so that's just a little bit of detail right there. And help bring justice to the people. We've built the city of Paris to be a truly open world, entirely available for you and your friends to explore. Now what we saw just there was the new parkour animations, uh, as well as the seamless building uh, basically entering right there. But what we also saw, which was quite interesting, was the assassination animation. Now this could either be just, it's an animation where he's taken down both guards, but he's just sort of double tapped the second guard. Uh, as you can see there, how he sort of, he grabbed both of them like in Assassin's Creed 2 and stuff, and he, he got them on the ground, but then he ripped his blade out from the first guard and stuck it in the second one. So it could have been a double tap, or it could have been that... Arno doesn't actually have two hidden blades, he just has one. Now, Arno's meant to be sort of the Altai heir of the French Revolution, uh, so he only has a few weapons, which makes sense, but if he doesn't have the, uh, the double hidden blade, I think that might actually, it'll make things a lot harder, but I think it might actually sort of be not really detrimental to the series, but the two hidden blades has become sort of an icon of the series, and I think removing that uh, might actually be hurtful to the series. This could also just be that he hasn't actually unlocked a second hidden blade yet, uh, and that he's just playing bare bones, you know, th this is how you start out, that kind of thing, which I'm hoping, uh, because this game is meant to have a lot of customization, so hopefully that's the case, but either way, we saw that he only has one hidden blade. The result is an urban playground that's yours to discover, with seamless interiors, massive catacombs, and monumental scope and scale. The mob demands justice. Unity's new massive crowds are made up of thousands of active AIs. They'll react to players and each other to help create a feeling of immersion. These chain reactions can be used to your advantage. Coordination is key when playing with friends. His air assassination just saved me from being discovered. Detection would mean a completely different experience and outcome. Assassinating the guards inspired the crowd to storm the palace by force. So what we're seeing here is actually the civilians actually reacting to what's happening. And this time it's not actually that they're, you know, pissing off elsewhere. They're actually getting inspired by what we've done. And this is just sort of, it fits the scene. It makes the, the city seem more alive uh, than previous Assassin's Creed games. And it actually gives them some, you know, some characterization to them. They're, they're actually, they... They're not happy with the way the guards are treating them, and they, they're actually, you know, getting inspired by our actions instead of being scared shitless. So that's just another little piece of detail there. These massive crowds are but one of Paris's inhabitants. Rival factions fight for control in the bloody revolution streets. While we entered the palace through the front gate, two of our friends managed to find another way in and helped us just in time. 
Unity's online experience is at its best during those split-second moments of synchronicity, saving friends, avoiding detection, or going all out in full combat. So there we just saw the four assassins uh, working together to help each other out. Now that's basically what's going to be happening in the co-op. If you actually coordinate, you can actually pull off some pretty cool stuff from what we've seen. Uh, so this is just sort of a demo of what happens when you really work together well and efficiently with your friends. Take care of this or I will use your head as a that's our target. He's heavily guarded. We should keep exploring the palace and look for a better opportunity to strike. Fortunately, one of our friends has used his lockpick skill to open an alternate path. So there we just heard that you can actually get a lockpick skill, so you don't actually start off with the, the whole lockpick thing. Um, now this sort of adds a whole new sort of idea of how many skills you can get. You can get lockpicks, you know, you, you start thinking about what else can I get with these new skills. So hopefully it'll be a full flushed out system uh, of new skills that you can unlock. In Unity, you'll have multiple ways to execute your strategy. That freedom, alongside randomized ingredients such as guards, locations, paths or rewards, ensure each new playthrough is different. So there we saw some lovely blood splatter all over the walls. Uh, again, this is just mere detail. Uh, it, I think it's just cosmetic. I'm not sure if guards will actually react to this. So you might actually be better off choking the guard out and doing non-lethal takedowns than actually shanking the bastard. Because if a guard walks past and sees the blood, he could get alerted, which could lead to some very interesting uh, circumstances when that actually happens. So I'm interested to see what happens. I'm sort of hoping that's the case and that they'll react to the the blood on the the walls that's definitely something that uh, I'm looking forward to to see uh, you know if, if guards will actually react to this that was close I almost got detected by those two guards but my friend got to them first I returned the favor by taking out the last one with my new stealth weapon the phantom blade so here we can see some more civilians storming the palace and I believe you can actually try and help them out and stop them from dying but get detected or you can use them to your advantage, let them fight it out and stay undetected so it's more of a distraction. So it really, it seems like it's going to play on your morals a lot so if you really want to be, you know, sort of a, a vigilante, you're going to go down and help them but if you're, if you're focused on your task then you're not really going to, you know, uh, risk your notoriety and go and help the civilians. This courtyard is called the Jardin du Luxembourg. It's just one of the many historical locations you'll explore in the game. From the Notre Dame Cathedral to the creepy tunnel of the catacombs, you'll discover Paris in a way you've never seen it before. Thank you all for coming. So here again we can see the new lighting effects and I, I really can't stress enough how good it looks. Hopefully this is what the final version will look like because the detail in this in this room is absolutely amazing. Not just the lighting but if you look on the paintings and all the uh, sort of the, the, the detail on the, the beams and on the, the walls and the roof, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, it, looks, it looks like the CG trailer that we saw, the teaser trailer that came out in I believe it was like late March, early April. Um, it's incredibly, incredibly beautiful. Despite the poor sports outside, our illustrious host, the Marquis, wishes to assure you that the rabble outside can cause us no... <laughs> So there we just saw some of the combat and actually how it swaps from being defensive to offensive. So I read somewhere that I'm, I'm not really going to touch on that much, but basically it's when the guard starts attacking you, it's it's kind of you need to time it right to be able to start start attacking them and have them defend from your attack. So it's a yes, it's kind of a hard thing to get from defensive to offensive. Um, so as we saw there. Arno was getting pretty well laid into, and then he, he blocked an attack and was able to, you know, counter it and eventually kill the guard. So 
it does look like combat's going to be a lot more challenging, which is what I'm hoping for. Playing with friends means that combat is cooperative, deeper, and more challenging. You can stake out large areas, plan, strategize, and take down much bigger threats together. together. Spare me, please. They're only peasants! The chaos. So there we can see some beautiful, beautiful gore. We've never actually had dismemberment in an Assassin's Creed game before, so hopefully this isn't just, uh, you know, like part of a cutscene, and hopefully you, you can actually start uh, dismembering people. I know that sounds really, <laughs> really bad, but uh, it, it will sort of add that realism, so instead of just cutting a dude up and have him just die and have blood splurt out of him, you can actually, like, cut off parts of him. Uh, that, that'll be pretty brutal. Um, as you can see here, he's just been beheaded, which makes sense because of the, you know, the French Revolution, you have guillotine, so of course there's going to be a lot of uh, heads being chopped off. But um, hopefully that, that isn't just, you know, sort of a cutscene thing. You can actually see it happen in the real world um, as you're just walking about. The French Revolution with your friends in Assassin's Creed Unity. Thank you. So here we just get an awesome end screen where we see the four assassins together and them just staring down uh, basically the aftermath of what's just happened. So that's basically, it. again, we get the whole make history tagline and, and the, the pre-order bonuses at the end of this trailer. But um, basically that's, that's it for the co-op gameplay. It was very short, but really it didn't need to be any longer because this was the last demo that was showed off and really everything's been shown already. It was basically just outlining how co-op works. Now my personal opinions, it looks pretty seamless, but of course it looks seamless, it's an E3 demo, so <laughs> they're not going to show off a, a broken mess. Hopefully, I'm hoping that they've learnt from what happened with Watch Dogs, not to say that Watch Dogs is a bad game by any means, it's just, it was overhyped because it looked really good, and then it was, you know, downgraded by arguably the last gen consoles. However, this game is coming out on just next gen, so that's PS4, Xbox One, and the PC, so hopefully it can stay like this, especially on PC and it will look as beautiful as this, and it will work as beautiful as what's shown in the E3 demos. So that's it from me, that's it from my E3 coverage of Assassin's Creed Unity. I will be putting up weekly videos of news that I found around the place, so my next episode will be up hopefully at the end of this week. This week I've got tests on, so I probably won't be around for the next five, six days. Um, but basically, it's a bunch of information that I've got from the Assassin's Creed website on the combat, stealth, and navigation. So it's so it details a lot of stuff that uh, is sort of small details, but it definitely uh, it's it's definitely more information and but it's definitely something good to hear. So it's only small details, but nonetheless, it's something very important for Assassin's Creed fans. For those of you who want to know what the game is going to be like and know how it plays out. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Definitely hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more because I will be putting up hopefully weekly episodes depending on how much news comes out in the coming months. But once again, thank you very much for watching this video. My name is General Mittens and I'll see you in the next episode.